Hey, good morning, guys. It is the last week of July, and it has been raining nonstop, off and on every day for about the past six days. So, pretty much all the streams in Pennsylvania are blown out. Um, even tailwater fisheries are um, releasing a lot of water, so it's tough just to get out anywhere in Pennsylvania. But, I'm up on the West Branch, and the first four or five miles out of Cannonsville Reservoir is still good. And um, they, uh, I think they're released only at 350, and um, there's still hatches coming off. It's still fairly clear, just a little bit off color. So that's where we're at today, chasing the cold water, chasing the clear water, chasing the weightable water. So um it's about 11 o'clock in the morning up here hatches up here don't really start till around one in the afternoon so um we're up here we're just we're at west branch anglers right now and we're just going to nymph for a little bit until the hatches start off and then we may go up higher into the town of deposit or stay down here i don't know we're just gonna you know fish it you know as it comes by and and we'll just see what happens um you know if things start heating up down here we'll stay down here if not we'll go up towards deposit and um right now like i said we're going to be nymphing i'll show you out here this is the west branch we'll walk a little bit closer down here uh now this is below oquaga creek in um this is below oquaga creek in deposit so oquaga creek's coming in pretty chocolate so the water down here is muddier but it's not really bad um it's a little bit higher i was up here about a week and a half ago with my dad and it was about a good foot lower and um i did okay up here but um i didn't do a video that time and um uh, so like i said today it's about a foot higher it's a little muddy it's not chocolatey brown and um so they said they're still seeing good hatches up here and um so uh, like i said we're just going to nymph for right now and um see what we can uh pick up here and then you know as the day progresses and the hatches start off we'll make adjustments okay so stick with me i'm going to go out here and once i get set up out here i'll show you my first couple casts it's going to be a tough day it's always a tough day up here in the delaware my last video I did up here was very unusual. I had a great day up here, but that is not the typical case up here on the Delaware. So um, uh, I'm gonna go upstream, get into the little more shallower water, and we'll start nymphing, okay? Okay, guys, stay with me. Okay, guys, we're here. I'm taking my first steps in, show you what I'm using. Up here with my buddy Chris, and it's his first time up here. Okay, I'm going to use the golden stone. Okay, got the golden stone. I have a nice Anikia nymph. Okay, and then I have a pheasant tail. <laughs> Tails are flared out. <laughs> um, last time I was up here nymphing, I was picking them up on the ice Anikia and the pheasant tail. This was about a week and a half ago. Okay, I think I caught most of them on the pheasant tail. So, this water is, like I said, a little off color, but I can definitely see bottom. So, it's not that bad. And I'm not using any, the first two flies are weighted pretty well. Um, I, I, I might have to put a split shot on, but I'm just going to try uh, first couple cast without. And if I'm going too fast, or if, it's not, if I don't think it's sinking enough, then I'll add the split shot. Okay, and um, so let's go. Here we go. First cast in. First cast in. So. water in front of us I think is maybe about mid at most mid thigh um, so get big rivers like this you have to break it down into a little small stream and still fish like it's a small stream fish every little seam 
going to be showing you my first couple casts and if I get into a rhythm where I think I'm going to be getting frequent hits I'll put you on for the hits if not I might just have to put you on after I get the hookup guys got my first hookup here made it out to the middle of the river it's a nice one looks like he's around 13 14 inches what he's on yet oh he's on this ah the slate drake ice and nicky and them nice rainbow oh there he goes ah uh, nice one he was around 14 inches he was on the ice and nicky and them guys my second hook up here this one's a little smaller about 11 inches and he is on the he's on the ice and nicky too Another rainbow. Okay, let's get him up. Not a biggie. Not a biggie, but we're on the board. Okay. All right. Woo! Beautiful. About 11 inches. Nice. Okay. So I'll show you that. <laughs> I said Nikki and them my own tie and uh, although I did tie it with lively legs a couple of them but this one I tie it with just um uh, like a partridge legs and um, real skinny but it should be fatter but heck it's working so I ain't gonna complain you can't see that it has marabou in here when it's in the water it has marabou on, on the uh, abdomen uh, very fluffy so gives it a lot of movement so Okay. Uh, I know what. I'm going to keep just a couple casts on for you. Never know. Starting to get into some fish here. So actually a little bit calmer section I'm into right now. Um, I went through some fairly uh, riffly water. A little bit rougher now it's just a little bit calmer and actually it's a little bit deeper too calmer and deeper so that's where I started to get some hookups here here's my third hookup here this one's about maybe at 12 inches this is again on the ice and Nikki and nymph all three fish on the ice and Nikki again on the ice and Nikki and nymph yeah that's a, yeah that'll work just as well yep there you go oh this isn't bad same 11 inches maybe a smidge bigger there you go see that nymph sticking right out of his mouth there you go okay guys <laughs> oh nice one Nice one, probably about 15. Okay, Let's see what he's on. Now I had a big huge hit about five minutes ago. He took my whole rig. Man, just one big massive hit. Took my entire rig. So I had, I only landed two out of seven fish I had on. So this is my eighth one. Let's see if we can get him in. Uh-oh, oh, 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 I got 4X on again. <sighs> Looks like a rainbow. Look that way to me. Oh, there he goes. Get him up here. Yeah, 
time he is on another Isonikian nymph. Nice rainbow. Nah, he's not 15 though. He's looks like he's about 13, 14. Let me see. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, fat. Let's see if we can get him in here. Hmm. Oh. Good 14 inches. Put him in there. Nice. Beautiful. Mm. Beautiful. Nice cold water out here. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nice. Okay guys, doing good up here. Well, landed three out of eight. <laughs> That's about par for the course up here in the Delaware. Okay, let's go get another. Isonikia! Yeah. A little guy here. That 10. 10 incher. We won't even net him. Okay. Okay, guys, I want to show you this fly again. This is these I just tied up last yesterday, yesterday or the day before. Uh, so now this one's a little bit wider. Show it to you. Got a little marabou tail on it. And you can't see the marabou underneath the abdomen, but uh, that's with the lively legs. Um, legs, nice dark brown wing case. Um, there's the underside of it, okay? And it's got three to four marabou tails. Okay, I'm using 4X and then going down to a big pheasant tail. So, let's keep the camera on for you guys. And kind of getting into them pretty good now. That was the ninth one. Okay. There's another one. Oh, that's a stick. Ha! <laughs> yeah, one of those cigars <laughs> from a cigar tree. Catulpa tree. <laughs> Okay, let me see you guys. Okay, got you guys on here. Um, okay, go up here. Get some more fairy. Oh. These fish are up high in these rifts up here. Like I said, I'm not, it's a big, big river, but I am not casting out far. I'm casting out maybe about 20 feet. I'm just taking my time. There you go. Oh, oh, look at that one. Oh, man, that's a nice one. Oh, man, that's a nice one. Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> oh he was monster. <laughs> he was he was about 17 inches. It was huge. Oh, my God. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. That was fun to watch. <laughs> he jumped that second time, man. Spit the hook. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. That was fun just fighting them if I was only for 10, 15 seconds. <laughs> I got that one on film for you guys. That was awesome. <laughs> Would have been more awesome to land them though. But okay, guys, got that moss off my line. I had a little knot in it, so starting back up again here. Oh man, he whacked it. How did I miss him? Man, he just. Man, this spot is. I can't believe all the fish that are in this one spot here. Oh, no, that's a rock. There's some Isonychia, very few of them coming down, and I saw a fair number of size 20, 22 blue winged olives floating down, some duns, but no surface activity. So, just be impatient for that. So, we're having a good time here, nymphing. <laughs> Fighting fish, not landing many. But, like I said in the beginning of this video, this is the only game in town. And that's not a bad deal, having the only game in town being the West Branch of the Delaware. <laughs> that's a pretty good game. <laughs> okay, I'll show you a couple more drifts. Come on, fishy, fishy. Man, they want that big nymph. I had a hairs, I mean, I had a pheasant tail on, had a size 18, what I was doing good on down in Hancock, my last video, and um, now I got about a size 16 hairs ear on. I'm not touching that, they want that big. Oh, oh, Chris yelled down to me. Look like he had one on, it got off. Okay. I'll tell you what, man. It's a sunny day, but there's some clouds in the sky. You can see up there. And um, up here, close to deposit. Oh, there he goes, there he goes, nice one, nice one. Another nice one. Yo! Another nice one. Good lord. Oh, oh, there he is. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh, look at that. Look at that, another nice one. Oh, he's a good, looks like about 15, 16 incher. Man, a pop. Man, I like I was saying, this water up here needs to get warm before the bugs really get active. So they need kind of the sun up here. The sun's not a bad thing up here in deposit. Okay, man. Nice fish. Nice fish. <laughs> Didn't hook into any brownies yet. Last week I was here up here catching all brownies. Nice fish. Oh, look at that! Awesome! Beautiful jumping. Beautiful jumps. Beautiful jumps. Strong fish. Cold water. Nice. This water's around between 55 and 60. Come on, fish. 
take my time with this boy. Nice, nice, come on. <laughs> you know what? Most high, you know, I don't know about the ones that got off, but all these fish I'm catching all in the mouth. That last video was, remember I was pal hooking a bunch of fish? So, what happens one day to the next? Just unreal. Nice fish. Come on, let's get him up. Get him up. Get him up. Slide him in here. Oh, there you go. Nice, big, big fish. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, there's no out here. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. Couldn't get a chance to look at him. He was a good 16 inches. Nice. Super nice. Okay. Hey guys, me and Chris switched positions. I took the lower and he took the upper. And I just got this boy on here. Solid fish. champion that he caught a brownie down here that the one that I got on the video that you guys saw he said that was push, pushing close to 16 inches and I caught all rainbows up where he's at so oh oh nice nice big brownie oh get this in it'll be a treat oh man look at this big old brownie Big old brownie. Big brownie. Come on, let's take our time with him. Oh, you guys can't see him. There's a glare. There it is. There, nice big brownie. Kind of weird that you know a couple weeks ago when I did my last video here it was all pheasant tail <laughs> now it's all big isonikian nymphs oh nice 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 this is one okay nice big big nice fish oh come on Opening his mouth. Don't need him to get off. Okay, let's get him up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that one. Woo, woo. Good 17. Good 17 inches. Woo, woo. Look at that. Okay. There it is, guys. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, we got them off. You guys got another one here. Okay. I didn't see him yet. Feels decent though. He's on yet. Uh, I think he's foul hooked though. Man, I think he's on the tail. Keep him in the water. Uh, nice size fish, but he's on the tail. Uh, Feels that way. The first one today. Okay. Let's get him up here. Get him up here.
see all there. Good 12, 13 inches. Stone tail. Okay. 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 Now the wind's blowing in our face. Oh, I got him. The little one on the sulfur. Okay, guys, we're up in deposit here now. A lot of little fish rising. And um, a little dinker. About five, six inches. Five inches. <laughs> oh, brown. Got on our sulfur. Hey guys, up here in deposit, in the town of deposit, water's a little bit clear, a lot of little ones rising out here, but that's okay. There he goes. Oh, missed him. Oh, <laughs> that one wasn't that little. That looked look good to 10, 11 inches, that one was. Heard that one rise below me. Let's throw back up here again. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, getting a little drag. Do a little reach cast. I'm just searching now. I didn't see any. Just blind casting. Didn't see anything rise out there. Okay. I don't want to go out further. I'm wait for my buddy to get out here. And there's some rising lower, and there's a pod rising up high, and a pod rising right out in front of me. So. There goes one. I don't know if you saw that on film. Let's see if we can get him. Boom. That's not, oh, that actually went too far. Uh, that was a nicer fish, though. Nope. Boom. That's not bad right there. That's not bad. Not CDC. Not CDC. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> they came up. Oh, look at these fish. You got to get out here, man. These fish are rising like crazy. That's a nice fish out there. Let's see if we can get him. Boom. That's not bad. Right there. There he goes. Oh, missed him. Try it again. Boom. Oh, there he goes. Oh, missed him again. I don't know what they're taking. We're coming up to hit this, but not committing. There you go. Golly. Um. Yeah. Come out. Come out. Come out here to me.
three times they went after this sulfur, but I missed them. So they're not committing to it big time. There's a couple nice fish in here too, and there's little ones too. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, there, there's a pod. Oh, look at that guy. Yeah. Nice cat. You got him. Oh, I thought for sure. Yeah, I thought too. But there's some rising even in between. Oh, believe me, guys, I work for this little guy here. <laughs> I can't. Going for a big one and got the little one. Oh, there's a brookie. Brook trout, yeah. There you go. Let's throw him. Uh -oh. Hold on. Yeah, I just got a fish come up again. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Woo hoo. There you go. Okay, there's my sulfur, parachute sulfur, really, really yellow body, and um, I cut some of that post off, that post is a little too big, okay. Okay guys, <laughs> that is our day up here on the Delaware, um, probably around 7 o'clock at night, maybe, not, probably closer to 7, 30, 8 o'clock I think. And, um, I can't believe there is absolutely no fish rising at all down here. We're back down near the uh, West Branch Angles property. And, um, no, absolutely nothing happening down here. Um, my buddy Chris, uh, he was where I was catching up there. There's an island up there, I'll show you. And I was up there earlier banging, banging, um, rainbows out up there. Well, he was up there just banging brownies. And um, in the uh, last probably hour, hour and a half, uh, I think he landed about four or five out of about seven or eight that he had on. And uh, he was getting them all on a size 12 Frenchie with a chartreuse hotspot and a, and a gold bead. So uh, they weren't touching. The Isonikia. This morning it was Isonikia and rainbows. This afternoon or this evening it was um, uh, Frenchie and brownies. So go figure in the same exact water. <laughs> one one turned off and another one turned on. So other than that, we had a you know not a bad day. You know, for the rest of the state being uh, having this high water and muddy and all the rain that we had over the past five, six days. Um, like I said, the Upper Delaware was the only game in town, and um, it's really not that bad at all. I mean, we had we didn't get up here until 11 o'clock um, in the morning, and um, I mean, we really did good. We we did good nymphing um, up near Deposit. We were definitely having risers up there, but we just missed a ton of them. A lot of them were small, but um, you know, we caught some small ones up there, and um, had a couple decent ones on that we stung, but uh, there was a good, probably between me and Chris, probably a good uh, 25, 30 fish in our area that were feeding kind of regularly, but man, they were just being really picky. The only thing they were touching were like a size 20, a size 20 a sulfur. So, um, and then we came back down here and nymphed again. And um, so we really had a fun day, better than being home stuck, uh, stuck inside not doing any fishing at all so um get out there explore your areas especially those tailwater fisheries and um they're usually the areas that um might come around a little bit uh before the uh freestone streams do other than the um you know if you get down to like falling springs or big spring or the latour um, you know, streams like that or Spring Creek, they're, they'll definitely rebound a lot quicker. They'll probably be okay by the weekend. So, um, okay, guys. So, um, thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and share it with your buddies. Thanks, guys. Bye.